Talk about you uh, for a second and whether or not you'll be the next head of the DNC. You have said, yeah, if I got that job, I would step down from Congress. It's a full-time job. You were deliberating about that. The main knock that I hear most often about you is questions about your political ideology uh, when it doesn't, not that you are Muslim. It's about the anti-Semitism isn't because you're Muslim. As far as I can glean, your opinion is wanted on that, of course. But you gave a speech in 2010 where you said that U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East is governed by what's good or bad through a country of 7 million people, uh, which people take to mean Israel, and that this was seen as you having a hostility toward the U.S. relationship with Israel and that you were turning a blind eye to the value of that relationship and you were favoring the Arabs essentially over the Jews. No, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I was talking to a group of people who asked me how they could uh, look at the Jewish community as a model for political empowerment. In fact, I've been to Israel seven times, voted for bilateral aid to Israel uh, to the tune of $27 billion, uh, and I have uh, supported Israel's U.S. Joint uh, Defense Pact over time. And, uh, and, but I, I'll tell you this, there's a lot of people around the world and around our country who look to the Jewish community as a community that has used this democratic system in order to uh, offer uh, its policy ideas. And uh, that's the question that was posed to me. But and what does that mean? Because who doesn't use this system to advance its own agenda? That's, that's what people well, do. That's what constituencies are. Well, Chris, of course. But some people uh, in our country, they might be immigrant groups, they might be new Americans, they don't know how to use the system as well and want to learn how to use it, want to learn how to be uh, effective in, in lobbying and in, and in working with our U.S. system. There's nothing wrong with any group of Americans using our democratic system in order to advance their policy views. And if some groups like, you know, there's various groups that are effective. I mean, they, this is something that this is a skill that should be developed and strengthened and people who are more successful should be looked to, to look towards as models. This this statement that I made had had absolutely nothing to do uh, with uh, with what you're suggesting. Actually, it was more about saying, how do people who want to know how to work with Congress, how to work with their members of Congress, how do they learn how to do that better? That's what that was all about. The criticism is out there. I'm giving you the opportunity to respond to it. Uh, that's the job, and I appreciate you taking the opportunity to do so. Congressman Ellison.